Mr. President, Your Excellency, greetings from Athens. I have the honor of presenting you with the City of Athens Democracy Award, recognizing you as a representative of our most cherished ideals as a city and as a people. President Cartoso, you're a champion and defender of democracy. From a young age, you emerged as a leader of the resistance to authoritarian rule in Brazil. Sent into exile by the military dictatorship, you never stopped writing about your home. You worked continuously for the restoration of freedom, justice, and equality, helping to restore democracy and ensure its success. As a lifelong servant of Brazil and as an internationally esteemed sociologist, you have been a leading figure in the fight for democracy in Latin America and indeed across the world. You have demonstrated rare skills as both a diplomat and a scholar. Your influential research on political power has also inspired several generations of thinkers and radicals to become engaged citizens. Your powerful defense of human rights has also been an urgent voice for inclusive politics, for inclusive societies, and inclusive economies. Your rigorous contribution to debates about inclusive democracy has also encouraged investments in schools that have made it possible for all Brazilians to have an education. Your training as a sociologist and, of course, as a field researcher taught you to cross social divisions when searching for solutions to problems. And as president of Brazil, your leadership style evoked the beloved lead teacher and mentor. You showed that democracy requires that we listen before we judge. You teach us not simply to agree or to disagree with whatever we hear, but to also take a step back and question each other and ourselves, and to learn from the beginning how we can actually support one another. As president, you showed courage in the fight against current inflation by actually giving trust to expertise. And you ask your citizens for their help and understanding, just as you have often demonstrated the wisdom of tolerance in the face of threats against your life. In your public career, as an energetic politician, and indeed as a brilliant scholar, and of course as president of Latin America's most populous democracy for two successive terms, you have demonstrated in, com in compelling and exemplary fashion the commitment to the rule of law, respect for democratic principles, and defense of the disadvantaged. Mr. President, I know very well that you have received many important awards before this one. Awards for your academic work, for your political leadership, and of course, for your perseverance. Tonight, Athens recognizes your commitment to democracy, in theory and in practice, which is just the way the ancient Athenians would have admired. We honor you from the cradle of democracy, from the city of Athens, where history teaches us that democracy is very often an ideal fruit that requires everybody's effort in order to become real and to thrive, especially today when political polarization and the growing mix of disinformation and populism constitute major challenges. Democracy only blossoms where measure and moderation appear, when there is respect, not only for our own freedom, but also for the freedom of others. Democracy needs political culture, political ethos, and the ethos of politics becomes, in a prospective way, the ethos of society. Your respect for this principle marked your whole life and served as an example for all of us. Many thanks for joining us from a distance.
by hearing from your voice, your words about myself, what I did in, in the past. And I will try, I try to continue to, to fight in, in, in the name of democracy. Ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends, I am really grateful to the city of Athens, the New York Times, the United Nations Democracy Fund, and the Athens Democracy Fund for the honor of receiving the Athens Democracy Award. Democracy was indeed the great cause of my generation. Freedom is like the air we breathe. We all realize how precious it is when it's taken from us. In Latin America, we fought long and hard to make the transition from dictatorship to liberal democracy. We did the same in the Southern and Eastern Europe. With the fall of the Berlin Wall, we thought that democracy was bound to become the way of the future throughout the world. As the future is never ours to see, this anticipated end of history failed to materialize. What nobody foresaw is that democracy would today be in crisis in Europe and in, Ameri in the Americas, precisely where it was most strongly embedded in society and culture. Facts speak by themselves. In many countries, democracy is being undermined by a regressive and authoritarian rule. The political instrument is increasingly seen as an elitist and dysfunctional system. National governments are seen as incapable of protecting the nation against financial instability, loss of jobs, and erosion of national sovereignty. Technological innovations, especially in bioscience and information, are changing politics, economics, and culture. In times of social dislocation, fearful of the future, many look backward and idealize past made of national grandeur, simplicity, order, and authority. Demagogues play with some of the most destructive human emotions, such as fear, hate, and intolerance. Political adversaries and minority groups are branded as enemies of God, nation, and family values. The politics of polarization weaken the common ground and shared values that enable a nation to be a community of faith as a uh, not as an aggregate of people, as a community of faith. The systematic dissemination of false and misleading information dissolves the frontiers between truth and lies, facts and ideology. We live in troubling and uncertain times. The moment is fraught with risk, and yet not all is bleak. As a Democrat, and a humanist, I learned in my eight years as president of Brazil that political power comes from the top, but trust comes from the people. New voices are being heard, new links are being waved, new spaces are being covered by youth, the truth of our common future, and by women, the other half of the sky, who make stand for their freedom and rights. From the Pacific Islands to Berlin and Montreal, millions of young people took to the streets to stop climate change before it's too late. From Minsk to Santiago, cities are in upheaval to safeguard freedom and human rights. Scientists, scholars, and journalists are at the frontiers of the fights against obscurantism. We stand at the crossroads. We cannot remain, remain silent. We must be all be together, act together in defense of democracy. Trust, knowledge, independent institutions, and citizen action are the best antidotes to political regression. Institutions are the guarantees of democracy. Parliaments and courts protect society against abuse of autocrats. 
independent media and a community of scholars and scientists have the power to validate knowledge and share public facts. But none of them can endure without people's trust and support. Democracy is always a work in progress, an incomplete journey rooted in history of each society. I share with my friend, the late Albert Hirschman, an ingrained bias for hope. Politics is not the art of the possible. It is the art of making the necessary possible. In other words, politics is the art of extending the field of possibilities. In the long run, it is the will of citizens, driven by values and interests that sustain freedom and democracy. Our common challenge is to rewave the threads between truth and reality, society and politics, demos and has publicity. So I have to be very thankful to all of you by recognizing my efforts in Brazil and maybe in other countries too. And I, will be, I, will, I hope I will have energy enough with my 90 years of age, I will be in the next year to continue to, to, to be a, a, a fighter in favor of democracy. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. This Thank is the award I received from you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. President, and we look forward to welcoming you in Athens in person. It will be a pleasure for all of us. For me too, it will be a pleasure. It's a, it's a matter of time, I will be there. Thank Take you. good care. Thank Have you a good evening. Time. Good evening. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Yeah. Peace.